This is the cheapest RV in GTA 5. It cost me $1 to buy, and I can kind of see why. It's my old sports car with a box on the back of it. <laughs> this is what the $1 got me. <laughs> I'm supposed to sleep inside that. I mean, I don't really see a bed in the back of this thing. It's just an empty shell. Let's just drive this car and see how it actually does. If this box stays on the back, it gets approval from me. Now, this is the cheapest RV money can buy. I'm gonna upgrade this into something even better in just a few seconds, until eventually I get to the most expensive $100 million luxury RV. Believe me, you don't want to miss that. I mean, going from this to a $100 million RV is, is just like mind-boggling. I, I can't even see how we're gonna get there. <laughs> but it's past the speed test. I mean, this is a pretty fast car, and I can see behind me because there's a big gap in the door, so you know, as far as safety goes, I think it's alright. But I gotta do one more test. The ultimate test. Whenever you go traveling with your RV, you wanna make sure you can park it up somewhere, and it made it into the car park. Wow. <laughs> this is only just fitting. Wait, can I go into there? Oh, oh. oh my days. It can. No way. <laughs> This is so close, but it can only just make it into the car park. All right, let's see if we can go up a level. Do you reckon we can? This is so tense, dude. No, come on. It's stuck. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. I think it's about time we upgrade to the better RV. This is about to explode. Oh, boy. <laughs> and that's why you don't go up car parks. <laughs> completely demolish the top. For $100, you could buy a truck. This isn't even an RV. Let's take a look inside. I'm kind of interested. This is just a truck, dude. Well, at least it's got a bed. This is where you can um, chill, sleep. There's a TV on the wall. There's a sink over here. Does that sink actually work? I mean, yo, this has plumbing. This really isn't that bad. I got a fridge from Slug. <laughs> hey, I want to get comfortable. Let's just get in this bed. Ah, what a lovely time to sit back, chill out, and look at the beautiful view. <laughs> All right, this is the second worst RV, and I can kind of see what Franklin is actually falling asleep. Franklin, wake up. Wake up. Franklin. <laughs> All right, guys. So, yeah, I mean, there's really not much to show off with this one. This definitely is not a $100 million RV. Um, so I think there's only one sensible thing to do with this. It's not even an RV, so just, just get out of here. <laughs> All right, well, there goes the second worst. Wait, did you want that one? Oh, guys, you gotta let me know in the comments if you want any of these. Let me know which is your favorite. I might just deliver it to you guys. <laughs> anyway, Franklin, let's go on to the next one. For $500, this RV could be yours and you could travel the world with it. Although I don't think you would get very far. It's still the third cheapest and uh, <laughs> I think it's already been through a lot. But let's just take a look around. The door's open. I can see there's some stuff inside there. Nice, there's chairs. Not too bad. <laughs> there's palm palm trees on the side. Nice. I just love RVs. I mean, to think that you can drive anywhere you want to and your home is on the back, this is the kind of one I'm actually thinking about. You know, th this is no longer just a truck <laughs> or a box on a car. This is the first official RV I can relate to. Now, let's go inside and check this thing out. Nice. So, we've got some chairs, lots of cutlery on the side, the sink, beautiful. I like that. Coffee machine, <laughs> baskets, and a bed. This isn't bad. Franklin is crouching. You know, bear in mind, limited space. We are in a camper van, but there's storage underneath, there's baskets here. You know, you got everything you need. <laughs> and even some chairs to sit outside and chill out and look at the beautiful sunset. W what else are you gonna do in RV? I mean, nature is your friend. I'm happy with this. For $500 seems very fair. In fact, that coffee machine probably costs $500 alone. <laughs> this is a pretty good RV. And considering it's the third one in the video, I can't wait to see what the next one's gonna be like. For $1,000, you can buy this. What is this? this? This feels like a downgrade, but there is a surfboard on the top, so I'm not complaining. <laughs> so we have sacrifice size and uh, yeah, I mean, it's got four seats around the front. I like that. <laughs> Let's open up the back doors. I really want to see how they've done this. I mean, it's tiny. There is no way you can fit more than a bed in this thing. But le let's see what they've done. Okay, this is actually pretty well done. No way. They got a sofa bed, a, a games console, a TV, mini bar, even a microwave, paper towels, water dispenser. What is that thing? Is that an oven? <laughs> they got it all. This is actually really good. As far as like, you know, RVs go, I'm really impressed with this. There's even CDs. They got a CD player. No way. Way. I actually really like this RV. I kind of want to get it, dude. It's so chilled out, and there's even space to walk around in the middle. That is really cool. And there's a surfboard around the top. Man, you got all the space you need. All right, I'm not going to lie. This is a really nice RV. I want to take it for a spin. Like, how fast will this thing actually go? I mean, it's no longer a camper van, so I think it can go a little bit faster. I want to see how the things react, too. Do you reckon they're stuck down? <laughs> Just expecting to see the microwave fly everywhere. Well, watch out for the cars. Hey, look at those doors flapping. Oh, jeez, another car. <laughs> 
Oh, we're going seriously fast, though. Guys, as far as RVs go, this one is knocking them out of the park. Just like I just knocked that guy off his uh, quad bike. <laughs> For $1,000, you're getting a pretty good deal. Sofa, games console, surfboards. I mean, even those three things alone, that's that's quite a bit of money. But this has nothing on the $100 million RV. That super luxury machine is gonna knock all of these out of this world. I seriously can't wait to check it out, and I'm sure you guys are excited as well. So without any further ado, I think there's only one thing left to do with this one, and that's to drive it straight over a hill. <laughs> What's gonna happen to everything in the back when we do this? Here goes nothing. Here goes nothing. It goes way. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going for a nosedive. Nosedive! Yeah! Oh, jeez! Well, I think we're okay. Not bad. All right, let's go and check out the next RV. Back at Simeon's store. Maybe he's getting into the RV business. So there's a blue stripe around the side. I have a feeling this is like the step up from the last camp van we saw. And uh, same palm tree, same shape, same design. The curtains aren't drawn. And I'm not gonna lie, those windows actually seem kind of cleaner. Let's go inside and put this to the actual test. What have we got inside the RV? Okay, I like it already. There's a groovy rug slug fridge machine with a freezer, a barbecue. Oh, that's what you need. A very uncomfortable bed. Oh, jeez. And a sofa. Okay, not too bad. It's got some pretty cool things and some pretty bad things. This is the view you'd wake up to. There's like a window out there, window there, the window. Where's the window behind? There is a window behind, but like inside, you just strange. All right, looks like they covered that thing up. <laughs> yeah. But check it out, guys. This is the RV. What do we think? If you're a minimalist, then this might be your dream. There's nothing here to stress dress you out or distract you. Just five lovely things. Six if you include the rug. <laughs> Upstairs up there is another bed, but let's get inside this beast and see how fast it drives. I haven't actually driven one of these camper vans yet, so I think it's about time we do. And this has to be like, what, the fifth, maybe sixth upgrade? So we're getting closer and closer towards that $100 million RV. I seriously can't wait to check it out and give it a spin around Los Santos. But this isn't bad. Can I get under this bridge? Yeah, we can go under bridges. Nice. I wouldn't want to test my luck in a multi-story car park, but, uh, other than that, I think this isn't too bad. It's big, it's got a bit of speed, and I feel kind of safe driving this thing around. You can pack the boys in here, you can go on holiday, you can go wherever you want to. That's what I love about RVs. Well, I've had fun. We must be at least halfway towards the $100 million RV, so I want to upgrade this again and get into the real luxury RVs. We must be getting close, because these, these are so small compared to what we're about to see. So, Franklin, without any further ado, let's do a quick upgrade. Go! Oh, no. Guys, you gotta subscribe. Oh, come on! Guys, subscribe now, or else we can't upgrade our RVs anymore. Quick subscribe. Oh, jeez. Come on, please. Oh, man. I don't want to be stuck with this. I know there's a $100 million RV. Come on. Okay, I'll give it a couple of seconds. Let's just go on the sidewalk. Have some fun with this. Sorry, ladies. Just got to wait for people to subscribe to my channel. I need every one of you watching to press the subscribe button because if you don't, I can't upgrade the next RV. It's still not letting me. Well, I'm having fun. <laughs> oh, my days. Michael's house is coming up. Hey, Michael, what do you think of my brand new RV? <laughs> Michael! You reckon he's in? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's just uh, lob some grenades through the door. Oh, yeah. Easy peasy. Pew! <laughs> that went inside. No way! Oh, he's gonna kill me for this. He's seriously gonna kill me. And another one. And another one. And another one. Go on, get them through the door. Get them through the door. Okay, I, I think I've had fun with this. Michael's gonna be very annoyed at me now. <laughs> yeah. Alright, can we finally upgrade? Yes, we can! Doesn't even feel like I upgraded. I'm sitting in the same vehicle, behind the same steering wheel. Let's, uh, let's check this out. Where, where am I? What? <laughs> Seriously? It's literally the same camper van? Oh, come on. When are we gonna get these hundred million dollar camper vans? Well, at least there's golden records in there. This one looks a little bit more luxury. Let's see what's inside. Ooh, you open up straight into a double bed. I like that. And there's a TV in front of you, a full-on kitchen hob. I don't understand why you need something that big, but <laughs> we got it, guys. And even with something that big, there's still takeaway in front of us. Seriously? As far as camper vans go, this is a really luxury RV. Like, look at these. Gold Golden records from singers. OG Locke. He's like a classic in GDA 5. This, th these guys are insane. And I'm sitting inside the most luxury RV of its kind. Now, fingers crossed we don't get any other RVs like this. I want to get him some serious ones. It's nice. I get it. You know, it costs several thousand dollars, but it's not the one I want. I want to get the hundred million dollar RV. So I think I might just leave this here. Actually, hang on a second. I'm going to show Michael for a second. <laughs> Let's leave this under the RV. And if Michael even thinks about taking this, oh, he's going to get a surprise. Well, now I'm done with that. Oh, no. I think Michael set off the explosions. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go and upgrade again into the next RV. Are you ready? Three, two, one, upgrade! Ooh, this is different. I like this. All right, check it out, guys. We got a trailer RV. Nice! <laughs> it's not as big as the other ones, but hey, this looks way, way nicer than the other ones we've seen. All right, well, there's there's quite literally nothing in here yet. <laughs> Hang on a second. Is this the mattress? Yo, guys, I think you just sleep on the floor. This is a trailer which you sleep in. All right, that kind of makes sense now. There's like some cupboards here. What about the back? Like what opens up on this? There's got to be something else we can use. Like maybe a kitchen. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. It's opening. It's opening. Oh, yes, I can see a sink. <laughs> All right, guys, so it isn't too bad. The vent hatch opens, the doors open, and around the back is a sink. This is my kind of deal. You can cook outside, wash outside, sleep inside. You got everything you need. You can really live in nature with this thing. I like it. It hooks onto this. You can drive it around. Not too bad. Currently, it's just like chilling in a car park, so I don't think I'll take this anywhere, but as far as RVs go, I like this. This is nice, and it seems like we're getting into some really, really luxury RVs now. So let's check out the next one and see what we got there. Oh my days. Yo, this is a massive upgrade. <laughs> I can't wait to drive this. Alright, this, this is nice. This is seriously nice. It sets you back like, I don't know, a million bucks or something, but if you want to drive this thing around Los Santos, you can. <laughs> no way. Yo, I got, I gotta, I gotta go inside first. Before we drive this thing, I'm getting inside. I can see where the drivers are chilling. We can go straight down there. I can sleep above there or just like, you know, sit down, dangle my legs, whatever. <laughs> There's the sofa. There's a seat, table, TV on a spinning dock. Wow. Look at these shelving units. Oh my days. Literally everything you need is in here, guys. This is like a proper RV. You could tour on this thing. This is awesome. <laughs> this must be where you shower. And through here is the bed, the double bed bed. No way. And there's even windows around the side and the back. Wow. All right. This is a seriously good RV. I honestly can't wait to drive this. There's a ladder around the back you can climb up, which gets you onto the roof. There's solar panels up here. This is completely sustainable. You know, you can drive anywhere, get your own energy. This is what you want in an RV. You don't want to rely on energy ports or anything. You can do it yourself. Okay. Let's take this ride for a spin. Can we go under here? Oh, 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 oh only just, only just. <laughs> Here's me almost taking the top off on my first test drive. But this isn't even the $100 million RV. This is like the classic rich RV. You see this on the streets and you just know they're having a good time. This is so crazy. <laughs> you can even change the design on the side. But as far as sturdiness goes, like I'm looking inside. Nothing's coming out. There's plates are staying in. No drawers are opening up. This is beautiful. This is nice, but there's better ones out there. Let's see what the better one is. Are you ready? Are you ready, Franklin? Let's do this. Upgrade. For $10 million, your RV could be completely protected and armored up. You don't have to worry about those pesky neighbors anymore when you have rockets underneath this car ready to blow them up. <laughs> Those tires are half the size of Franklin. No matter what terrain you're going over, you're going to be A-OK. -okay. This can probably go through the Grand Canyon if you want it to. It could go to the Arctic. It could go across Antarctica. This is literally supercharged. It says it there, V24 supercharged. As far as RVs go, you are going to be so safe driving this around. And there's a home on the back of this thing. Four different solar panels. Beautiful. Nothing is going to get in my way. Check this out, guys. I can just demolish things. <laughs> hey, was that your car? My bad. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Just got to... Just have having fun here. <laughs> Hey, check it out, guys. Just little scratches. Not even a single dent. It's got a ramming thing at the front. So this is a pretty good RV, but I haven't even seen the inside yet. So I think we better pull up. And uh, yeah, this fruit stand looks like a good place to pull up. Hey, guys. <laughs> don't mind if I do. Actually, no, I don't want to go by the fruit stand. I want to go by the sea, actually. Can I just... Sorry, dude. Sorry. Oh, jeez. I'm going over. <laughs> I just pushed him over. Sorry. Here we go. Well, this is, uh, this is a great test to check out this RV. <laughs> check it out. It didn't even flip. This this is so good. All right, I think this is a good place to uh, check it out. Okay, so I can step up inside the RV. Not too bad. Plenty of space to check out. Whoa, look at this. Bed around the back, shelves, cupboard space. This is literally as big as a hotel. Like, I've had rooms smaller than this. This is so big. <laughs> we got a gas hob, sink, even a dishwasher. Have we really got a dishwasher in here? This is kind of nice. You know, I dig it, guys. It's not as luxury as the last one, but I prefer this RV because I feel safe driving this thing. <laughs> There's even a place to hang out with your mates. All right, well, that's basically the whole RV. I'm now going to take it in the sea and just see what happens. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. This might be a stupid idea, but I, I just want to give it a go. I'm in the water. Check it out, guys. Oh, yeah. No, no water's going to demolish this. 
I can go so far in. <laughs> All right, this is so durable. I'm happy with this RV. But are you ready to upgrade to the ultimate $100 million RV? Because I definitely am. And that's next on the list. Let's do this. This is the $100 million RV. It's solid gold and it looks like a tour bus. I love the design they've given this thing. But let's take a look inside. And for some reason, they thought it was a good idea to put this on top of Mount Chiliad. I think they're trying to tell us something. If you press like on this video, I will drive this down the mountain. You gotta press like though. I need to see you guys want me to do that. Okay, so I love the window at the front. Check it out guys. I can see everything inside this RV. But let's go inside and uh, sit down at the driver's seat. Alright, this is pretty cool. I'm driving this thing. I can see behind me. <laughs> I like the leather seats, the leather chairs, the marble tops. You don't even need to have marble in here, but they got it guys because there's a hundred million bucks. <laughs> there's the TV, lots of storage units, air conditioning. You could live in here. You could actually replace your home. You know, sell your home and just get this. <laughs> Even a double bed around here. Wow. No way. And a TV on the wall. More storage. But look at all the storage. Feels like I'm in a spaceship right now. This is crazy. So the toilet must be in there along with a cupboard, maybe a pull down bed or something. I just realized there's an American fridge, like a double fridge. How have they got that in here, dude? I think there's even cooler features about this uh, vehicle. Let me check them out. There's a light strip underneath, which goes on the ceiling and the floor, which you can switch on and off. Check it out. I mean, I'll show it at nighttime, but I mean, that looks pretty cool. <laughs> but I'm going to drive this thing down. Down Mount Chile. Let's just do it, guys. I got the most expensive RV. It's solid gold. And here we go. <laughs> this is such a bad idea, dude. Let's do this, Franklin. And don't screw this. Oh, my days. We screwed this up already. <laughs> This is a hundred million dollars, dude. Oh boy. Okay, this is not gonna end well for us. We're just falling off this mountain in a giant metal box. <laughs> uh oh. Okay. Well, we're going pretty fast now. This. Oh jeez. There goes the door. There goes the roof. This thing is gonna explode. I just know it is. Please land it. Please. Oh jeez. Not on the ceiling. Well, we did it, guys. Congratulations, Franklin. Even though it's a little bit destroyed, I have taken a few windows out, <laughs> a few doors. But there's even side doors. I didn't even realize they had them. I've done a quick repair. There's all the doors. There's the trunk space. There's the side door. More things for bags. But at nighttime is when this bus really comes to life. This RV looks beautiful at nighttime. The lights on the inside are working, but it gets even better. When they're switched on, they look beautiful. <laughs> I'm a really big fan of this bus. Solid gold, blue neon lights inside, and plenty of space to roam around and just enjoy life. It comes with six different solar panels, has top of the range neon lights, and enough glass to open the whole thing up. You could literally live inside this bus if you wanted to. But that's everything I got for you guys today. Which RV was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. Smash like if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching. My name is Nord and stay awesome.